electrical grid applications and motor drives are very often defined by three phase systems. That means there are three different voltage sources defining those three different phases. On the left side, you can see the definitions of three different voltages in the time domain. And on the right side, you can see the same voltages in the phase signal domain. The voltages are equally staged in time. The first signal defines the time zero as its phase is zero. The second and the third one are shifted with minus 120 degree and plus 120 degree respectively also showing up in the phaser domain as minus 120 and plus 120 degrees. So practically, those three lines are typically called line one, line two, and line three. In electrical installations, those are often brown, black, and gray. Sometimes they also are black only and have different markings on the wire. Zero electrical potential zero is defined through neutral, which is very often a blue wire. Only in very old installations, this might not be a blue wire. And then there is the protection earth wire coming in a three phase system, also called the ground. In an electrical installation, that one is typically marked as the yellow and green one and is supposed to not carry any currents. If that one starts to conduct any currents, that means that there is a leak of current somewhere in the system. And that leak could very often go through a human body, which can be dangerous. And therefore, the protection earth would detect those currents. Plotting these three signals in the time domain shows the line one with the zero crossing at the time zero because it doesn't have any phase shift. Line two is shifted by 120 degrees in one direction, and line three is shifted with 120 degrees in the other direction, where we can see that the signals start repeating at the period time uppercase T. The same information is noted here with the phaser of line one on the real axis, also informing us that its phase is zero, line two, has the minus 120 degrees phase shift, and line three has the plus 120 degree phase shift. These three voltages can be electrically connected in two different configurations. One is the star connection shown in the left diagram on this slide, where the neutral line is in the middle, and each of the lines L1, L2, and L3 refer to this neutral line N. Accordingly, a load would also be star connected and would have the same connection topology as the sources. Here from the uppercase letter A to an uppercase letter N and an uppercase letter B to an uppercase letter N and from the uppercase letter C to the neutral line of the loads. Now attaching these sources to their load means connecting the lowercase letters with the uppercase letters of each of the sources with their respective loads. Here the lowercase letter C with the uppercase letter C and finally the lowercase letter B with the uppercase letter B and collecting the neutral point of the sources with the neutral point of the loads. The other way of connecting the three sources is in a triangle configuration. Again, for the source connections, I'm using the lowercase letters A, B, and C to define three different nodes, and equivalently the uppercase letters A, uppercase letter B, and uppercase letter C for their loads. To establish the power transfer from the sources to the load, again, you connect the lowercase letters with the uppercase letters. And note, in this case, we don't have a neutral line. 
and for balanced loads, that means for three identical resistors in each configuration, we can see the transformation equation down here. Now it's up to you to practice your knowledge on three phase circuits. In the first one, one of the line voltages is given with its time expression, and you are asked to derive the expressions for the second and the third line, as well as the phasers connecting the different points. Afterwards, sketch all of those six voltages in a phaser diagram. In the other exercise, one of the phase voltages is given by this equation. And the question is, what is the frequency in Hertz and what are the expressions for the other voltages?